During the procedure, the patient is in a supine position with the lower extremity in neutral rotation. The patient is asked to move to the edge of the table and the hip is draped with aseptic towels or a medical pad. The ultrasound machine is placed on the side of the patient's symptomatic hip and positioned in front of the provider. Our center uses a Sonocyte M-Turbo ultrasound system. Prior to the injection, a curvilinear transducer is used to perform a survey scan of the hip joint anatomy. The transducer is placed in long axis with the femoral neck, allowing visualization of the anterior rim of acetabulum, femoral head, femoral neck, and joint capsule. The goal of the intraarticular hip injection is to enter the joint capsule at the anterior lateral surface of the femoral neck at the femoral head neck junction. During the survey scan, Doppler imaging can be used to locate small vessels to be avoided during the injection, as well as to visualize the femoral vessels medial to the joint. The femoral vessels are visualized in short axis, so the transducer is rotated. At that time, the provider can wash his or her hands, don sterile gloves, and the medication can be drawn up. We often use this technique for diagnostic injections of anesthetic and therapeutic injections of corticosteroid. This same ultrasound-guided technique can be used for other medications or biologic injections. The medication is drawn up into a 10cc syringe. A 3.5 inch 22 gauge spinal needle is used for the injection. A subcutaneous anesthetic is not utilized. If the subcutaneous tissue or muscle tissue down to the joint capsule is anesthetized, the patient could have improvement that was not related to the joint, therefore obscuring the potential diagnostic value of the procedure. The anterior hip is cleansed with a chlorhexidine swab. Betadine is not used as it can stay in the ultrasound transducer. Procedural assistant cleans the ultrasound transducer with a germicidal cloth and sterile gel is placed over the anterior hip just above the targeted injection site. The provider then grasps the transducer, pulling the transducer and cord through the germicidal cloth. The joint is then again visualized in long axis as far lateral as possible to avoid the femoral vessels. The excess gel is wiped away with a sterile 4x4 gauze. The skin is sprayed with ethyl chloride and the spinal needle is placed approximately 1 cm in front of the ultrasound transducer and inserted bevel up until it enters the joint capsule at the femoral head neck junction. Once the capsule is pierced, the medication can be injected and visualized entering the capsule. Once complete, the needle is removed. Typically, a post-injection image is stored and the excess gel can be wiped away. The medical pad can then be removed and a small bandage applied. We oftentimes reward our patients with a lollipop because adults should really be rewarded for procedures as well. The patient can be mobilized at that point and reassessed to determine how much of his or her overall discomfort and dysfunction was related to an intraarticular source.